And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for a meme tier Monday stream. We got four really fun looking decks. Three of them viewers submitted donation decks, then one I put together myself uh, wanting to play a Starbone deck. Our first uh, deck though is going to be this Riven Nautilus, which <laughs> that's a really cool combination already. So let's take a look at what we got going on. All right, first we're a Nautilus deck. So that means we need to go deep. So to help us go deep, we're going to have cards like Dredge Dredgers and Jettison. They're going to be doing some tossing to help us get there. But then we're also going to have the Slaughter Docks. They'll be tossing as well. So that's going to be how we're going to be rifling through our deck. Also got one Salvage in here. Another card that helps us rifle through the deck to help us go deep uh, that's an underrated card in Noxus is Arena Bookie. We get to discard our lowest cost card each round and draw an additional card. So that's, you know, getting two cards through the deck. That'll help us get down to 15 to be able to get deep. Well, we're going to need, we're going to want things to discard for that. And so therefore, that's where our uh, reforging is going to come in. We're going to have like Rune Weaver. <laughs> Thank you, Japanese Airlines. Thanks, thanks for the bits. I appreciate. Um... Uh, we're going to have like Rune Weaver and uh, Riven, of course, is going to be reforging. And so like those those reforge, uh, you know, these, these little spells, these little one cost cards are going to be cards that we're going to be able to discard to Arena Bookie to be able to, to draw additional cards. So that, that's a pretty cool combination there. Um, but then we're also going to we're also going to kind of be caring about reputation a little bit. Um, but let's see what the other things that this does is like if we're not if if we don't have arena bookie if we're not discarding if we're keeping our blade fragments one one thing these blade fragments can do is give overwhelm and overwhelm to a 1313 nautilus sounds really cool and so that's going to be one part of our deck is overwhelm with nautilus and we're going to have kato the arm be able to give overwhelm also like so this is another way we can support nautilus make it a 1613 overwhelm so overwhelm nautilus is going to be a, a part of our deck but then also um, reputation. So like if if uh, Kato is attacks for five, it can make some. It can make like one of these like two power or three power things attack for five. Um, and then we're gonna have uh, Glory Seeker in here hitting for five. And then uh, even Thorn of the Rose in here hitting for five. And we're doing this reputation stuff because we have a Black Rose Spy, where if we, if we can get reputation, if we can hit for five four times, then Black Rose Spy will copy the strongest ally that that dealt damage this round, which could be a Nautilus. So we can have Black Rose by copy Nautilus. We can have two Nautilus in play, and then our <laughs> and then all of our um, sea monsters will cost eight less, and that that would be crazy. But yeah, so we we can try to have double Nautilus. So that's cool. And so tying this all together also is Thorn of the Rose. Thorn of the Rose does a lot for our deck. All right, so it's a five one. So therefore, it it helps with the reputation. It also summons a Guile in hand, which this is a one mana created card, which works really well with Arena Bookie, right? So like that gives us more fuel to discard for Arena Bookie, just, you know, to so it can just be like a 5-1 draw card, right? Like we can turn into like a Shadow Assassin with the Arena Bookie. But otherwise, we can also, if, if we don't have Arena Bookie, we can use that Guile to help enable Ravenous Flock. So it works with that too. So it kind of works everywhere there. So that's going to be our other three draw. Um, so a lot of cool little synergies in here between different cards, and uh, seems like a really good little meme tier deck. So let's go ahead and uh, go ahead and, and try this out. We're gonna go play five games, just playing them in normal because it is meme tier day. All right, well, looks like we're playing against Shadow Isles to begin with over in normal. So probably a bunch of fearsome stuff, probably some mist rates. Definitely don't need guillotine and. I think I'm going to mulligan Kato also. Cool Thorn of the Rose does a good job blocking Fearsome. We got our Cosmic Exile Riven. See the world from behind a basilisk. I'll show the hunters. I love meme tier days. You just play different cards, like, uh, you know, like these are not cards we usually play together. All right, so if I play Arena Bookie, discard your lowest cost card to draw one. Which one of these, like, we have three three cost cards. So I guess it just discards a random one and then draws a card. I'm not sure if that's good for us. Yeah, it is. I mean, it's 
Let's just play it. <laughs> Alright, so it's random. So we'll get rid of one of these randomly. Whoops. <laughs> hey, see? New ribbon. Everything good. Uh, let's just get our attack in. Yeah, let's just get our attack in. But it helps us go deep, right? Like, that's that's what we're trying to do, is go deep. Ah, I got rid of the flock. I know what lurks in the shadows. So these these round start things happen from left to right. So we act, we want Riven on the left and Arena Bookie on the right, so that um, from the darkness. if we could choose, carry your own gear. So that we would create the Reforge token and then discard afterwards. But So I, I could block like this, and then, then Arena Bookie will go on the right. But then this does kind of open up Arena Bookie to dying. Oh wait, I can just do that, and now it's on the right. Ha! Huh, how about that? Okay, never mind, we're good. I'm smart. I forgot, like when you're an attacker block, you can just reorder them. So there we go. Create another blade. Discard the blade. That's just good deck building. It is me. I should maybe just be open attacking with the ribbon. I could have quick attacked one of these, but I kind of feel like I'd rather just jettison. Ooh, they're taking it all. All right, two ravenous lock on. The old switcheroo. The old switcheroo. He's always going to be on the left. My block there. So we're seven away from deep. from deep. So close. Yet so far. Alright, gonna obliterate Neverglade. Huh. So they could have Black Speared the Devourer and saved Neverglade, yet they still got rid of Kato. 
Kind of makes sense. Kato pretty scary. Do I want to trade Riven for one of these? I guess they, they just block with the 5-4 on Riven. Alright, so no. So we're, of course, we're deep now, so these Slaughter Docks... Um, they're gonna do their thing. Cool. I want the one that puts treasures in into the deck. Shipwreck order? No. Nah, Boogie's fine. I'm not too worried about milling out. Because again, we'll just draw more Nautilus and put Nautilus back. We'll, we're fine. But yeah, we, we can also kill Bookie whenever we want. doesn't really make sense to just throw away a ribbon, does it? Except for I have a new ribbon in hand. We could just block with the 7-7 seven, seven and not have my ribbon die. Yeah, I guess that makes more sense. Switcheroo. Okay. Let's attack. Attacking seems pretty cool. Let's give you you. Plus two, plus zero. Two count blade fragment would make a quick attack. I don't really need a quick attack. I don't think. Basically, just kind of checking to see if it's a, a like if it's like an overwhelmed blade fragment to put on one of these. But. There we go. They're of course all fearsome with the tear of the tides, doing its thing. I know what I must do. Well, that was really cool. Scouts. Man, I kind of forgot about scouts. It's been a while since we've seen scouts. Maybe I can't keep slaughter dogs against scouts. Probably got a mulligan it. Hey, Monkey Storm. Hope you're having a good day today. Hope send. Here you go. Um, I actually we haven't touched he Hecarim's legacy. Yet, I was kind of seeing if you would, uh, yeah, if you're gonna be here and stuff, and yeah, I, we'll we'll make some changes to that. We'll improve it, but um, haven't touched anything yet. Okay, yeah, no it could be killing. Yeah, you know, worst case scenario, they're killing Bookie here. Like they just play whatever unit tracker kills Bookie, but it's you know, not the worst thing for us. I was born in battle and raised by war. Break their spirits and their swords. 
That's not as good. Just attacked. I was thinking, you know, like, like maybe they'd play like Misfortune or something. I didn't think they would have something that like actually blocked the Riven very well, but they did. Strength and grace, beauty in the blade. In the blade. I'm cold. I'm hungry. And there's rocks in me boots. I'm sorry. Who are you? Positive. Challengers are powerful. Striking look and stunning. Oh, I, I should have probably played this slaughter dog, should I? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe not. Eleven away from deep. Start making that a little, you know. Start going two around towards that. Soldier to me. It's an interesting decision. Everything's easier behind a mask. So both challengers can trade with the five ones. What's up, Riven? So they're down to eight. We're still seven away. But we're slowly getting there. No, ship recorder. Ship recorder, are you so cool? That's a, that's a really good card to try to devour adepts. You know, we'll see if it works or not, but... It's still not that bad. You know, got single combat out of their hand. I will stun that card. Devour. Three away. When will I find peace? For the lost. I'm gonna make it I'm gonna do this, kinda of making it seem like we have like some kind of spell. Go here. Cause now they're thinking about right. some other kind of pump spell that's that would affect the Riven and not jettison. And obviously they can have sharp sight that saves, or you know anything like that that saves Cythria, but um, you know force them to have something. Ooh, okay, not bad. It's still doing that, of course, because we want to be deep for a slaughter dock. So yeah, got that, got that Cythria out of here. That was that was pretty nice. Yes, shipwreck hoarder, my favorite. Put two treasures in there. Now we draw a treasure. 
Oh. Okay, okay. Arena Bookie. Helping us draw those treasures. Do a Fleet Feather Tracker. Now I can't play Arena Bookie. My shield is yours. I'm just gonna stun that. When you want a job done right. Black Rose by Nautilus combo. Is it all coming together? Those five ones did a ton of work though, right? Like those Guiles just like stunning a few times did a ton of work. There we go. Look at that. Our plan all came together. Twice now. Man, our deck is sweet. We're 2 0. It also turned on our reputation. Ooh, Leonidas with Twisted Fate's Zillion. That's a cool combination. Let's see. Glory Seeker gets red carded pretty strong. I mean, I love me some Shipwreck Quarter, but I don't know if we should keep it in our opener. Oh, man, it's hard to mulligan the card that is really good. <laughs> and, like, this is going to be a long game, and Shipwreck Quarter is great in a long game. It's hard to mulligan it. Uh, I don't know what to do. My mind is telling me to mulligan it, but my body is telling me to keep it. Alright, fine. Chat says mulligan. <laughs> Alright, so sometimes you don't really need jettison. I don't know if jet Jettison's not always, like, the, the bit, like, that's why this is a good Jettison deck, right? Because, like, there's times, like, where Jettison, awesome, but then there's other times where it's just, it's not a very good value card, and so you can just discard it to Bookie. So we can spend one mana to toss four, or we don't spend the mana, and we only get rid of one card, but then, you know, we draw another card, right? Like, that's... Ooh. That is aggressive. Nothing but the stink of glory and sweat. That was a aggressive. I'm cold, I'm hungry, and there's rocks in me boots. We love it when they run. Boo. Well, our arena bookie will get one more card. One more card. One more card. Arena bookie's got us. We'll get our licks then. I've got the rings. Okay, so we are twelve away from deep. That's not that far. We're almost there. The ties that bind. We'll be there before you know it. Time is winding. Like a watch. Five ones aren't great against time bombs. Five ones aren't great against time bombs. Trash! No turning back now. Opponents have got a. They've had a very good hand. They've got, they've got a good hand for sure. He 
know, round three Merciless Hunter, both champions. They had triple one drop to start, you know, the first two rounds where they played three one mana cards. And then Merciless Hunter, and then Zillion Twisted Fate. They've had a very good hand, so. Oh, man. I was going to say, it won't be too surprised if we lose this because of that, but, uh, man, that Tooth that Soothsayer was perfect. I was about to devour Adepts. It's a good Soothsayer. Striking looks and stunning wit. All right, we're five away from deep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sit tight and shut up. be tough to win it's kind of the problem with you know having guillotine and flock like we just don't have any ways to do any damage with like these guillotines and flocks like there's just one guillotine in the deck but wow really do they, they don't know what their cards do oh man we're getting lucky completely wasted that chrono shift Getting fortunate over here. I'm sorry, who are you? I sense their power. All right, gonna level up Riven. I guess I shouldn't be attacking with the Devourer, should I? Because I guess that trade's not so great for me. That's fine. So we're still going to be one away after this, you know, the beginning of the next round. We're so close. We're three away right now. Burn a flock. Cool. Don't need it anyway. Draw a Jettison. That's a good draw. We're good at this game. From the deep. No! I want to put Blade of the Exile on Nautilus! Come on! Opponent, where are you going? We're gonna have Blade of the Exile on Nautilus. Let's settle that. What do we got? Aphelios Zoe. Zoe. Zoe, Zoe. Those two are certainly gone. Um, I guess we keep the Thorn of the Rose in my side. Yeah, I think we can keep that. The Slaughter Docks. Was a card that I want to draw. Slaughter Docks is a good card for this matchup. So that's too bad we tossed that. I right, tossed some good cards there. The round one. Round one gifts from beyond. So you would assume round one, if they're doing that, they're getting the three mana grab a two drop and put it into play. Also, kind of assuming that two drop is going to be Ballistic Bond. So making some assumptions, but that's what I think that we're working with. I write the rules of power. All right, I'm gonna make that. I assume they're gonna play a new ballistic bot this next round, and then there'll be three twos. Let's attack here. Stream noodles. Five months keeping that sub going. You are amazing, Stream Noodles. Thank you so much. Says things have been busy lately, but wanted to swing by for the resub. 
Well, thank you so much for that support. I really appreciate that. Thanks for stopping by. Oh. I guess they got that, that two drop also. Well. Well. That wasn't the two drop I was expecting. No, my other slaughter docks. We're going deep. Arena Bookie says we're going deep. Boo. I can't stun that thing. I should have played Thorn of the Rose last round. Especially if I knew I was going to draw a Ravenous Flock. Alright, so I have some problems. So, I'm really hoping we discard Overwhelm and not Flock. Oh, and discard Overwhelm right here. It's random. Yes. So, I couldn't play the Thorn of the Rose right there. Because then, if I play the Thorn, then we have Guile and Flock are the two cards. Um, and at that point... Can I play this Thorn right now, though? I guess I can play this Thorn right now. And then at that point, like we're definitely discarding either Guile or Flock. And I don't, didn't want to discard either. Man, opponents just living the life, though. They're just living the life. They hit Sumpork's posse instead of Ballistic Bot. It's it's random if they have the same if they have the same mana cost, it's random with Arena Bookie. Really? You're giving me the cry face after getting double Sumpworks Bossy? <laughs> Come on. Um Alright, I think we have to just pass and discard this bookie. Which is a better play is to play this and play Riven. It's, it's too early to, or sorry, too easy to bust up the Devourer. Maybe we draw like a Jettison here that makes the Devourer a 7-7. Flock. It's not exactly legal, but it is exactly awesome. Only three cards left. Really hoping no more of those sump work things. No more posse, please. Uh, that's not good. That's scary. Last arena bookie is gone. Ballistic Bot. Ballistic Bot. Oh, well, we gotta try this now. Yeah, I would have rather played these, the Dredgers first, but obviously we're looking at taking Lethal. Uh. You cannot 
that's too bad. They had a really great posse hand with double iterative improvement. <laughs> yes, some perks. Some perks is super high variance. If you know, like having round three, putting start putting in five threes that have that attack ability, it's pretty tough to beat. Five three elusive. That card is really really good. It's I think that's the second best card in the new expansion besides Merciless Hunter. I think it's the second best one. We just we haven't seen too much of it yet. I, I don't think people experiment enough with that card. I kind of want to keep Kato. You know what? Let's do it. For this matchup, they're a little slower. Kato can give me a ton of power. Right? So, like, right now, I'm not playing anything round round one, round two. And then, you know, then we have, like, the Riven, Thorn, like, that kind of stuff afterwards. Well, okay. We'll get this Dredge Dredger in play. Alright, so... They got the best 1-2 start so far. When will I find peace? So they have either Lissandra or Talia. Looks like that's Talia. To Lissandra, they they just you just play Lissandra here to get the frozen thrall. I would assume. Okay, no. We got some blocks. Is it worth playing Kato? No, it can't be, right? Let's see, 5, 8, 10, 12. We're, like, attacking for 12. Because, like, I, I could play Kato, but they could play, like, Preservationist and then get, like, an 8-8 eight, eight and, like, a 5-4. Or, yeah, I mean, I guess an Avalanche is a possibility. I'm not really scared of an Avalanche. I'm more scared of 8-8s, eight, which... They're going to start having some 8-8s eight now. Because, like... Oh, Ice Shard? I guess that's a card I wasn't thinking of. No Talia? Or Preservationist? Yeah, it's Preservationist. Opponent smart. They're playing Preservationist. We've had two opponents in a row that have had amazing hands for like what their deck does. It does if they've had you know top five percent of hands their last two opponents. Exactly like if you could draw up what you want your first five turns to look like for our opponent's deck, this is exactly what it's supposed to be. Don't really like any of my options, unfortunately. Another preservationist? I want them to play something smaller that Devourer would get. It's just too easy for them to kill this Glory Seeker.
our hand wasn't as good as, as it was before, right? Like, it started okay. You know, like, our hand started okay, but we just drew all this top end. We didn't, like, we didn't have the engines to, like, get deep and stuff like we have in the previous games. And these, these ravenous flocks have looked really bad sometimes. I and mean, we had to, we, we can enable one ravenous flock, but maybe it just shouldn't be a three of. All right, like, we haven't been able to enable these ravenous flocks. game opponent. Too many 8-8s. Too many 8-8s. So ran into a couple of um, a couple of hot opponents there, our last two. Um, awesome hands. But besides that, I think our deck did pretty well. You know, like, it's Riven Nautilus. Like, Arena Bookie was really cool. We had, like, a lot of, like, cool synergies with these cards. Um, yeah, so we're, we're playing Thorn of the Rose instead of Stun, Stun Spider. So, you know, like, it, it's the same as, like, playing three Stun Spider, three Flock. But, you know, like, we're doing these. And we did have one Thorn to go along with one Flock there to kill Alessandra. But then we just, you know, had other Flocks and didn't really have the early stuff. You know, we didn't have, like, these small things to try to get chip damage in. And that Ice Shard... That ice shard um, was uh, pretty great for our opponent. I uh, wish they would have had some stuff out whenever they ice shard. <laughs> you know, they would have just had like their four fours out first, and then ice shard, and then then turned on our ravenous flock. That would have been nice. Uh, but anyway, yeah, there there we go. Meme tier Monday. I think our first deck was a success. Um, there's like those getting a ton of really fast eight eight overwhelms is super powerful. Getting Sumperk's posse. You know, round three, round four, putting in five, three elusives that deal all the damage. That's super powerful. Like, those are some really powerful effects that our opponents had those last two games. So, like, yeah. So, like, we're going to, like, that's going to beat a lot of decks, like, when you have those kind of hands. No shame in going three and two. Um, but this was really cool. Using, this was just really unique. You know, using Arena Bookie to help you go deep and then having Overwhelm with Nautilus. It's what Meme Tier Monday is all about. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments. Hopefully y'all enjoyed this Riven Nautilus deck and just the uniqueness of this one here and uh, enjoyed the games. And uh, let me know. Leave those comments um, over there. I would appreciate it. Um, but that's going to be it for this deck. So um, thank you so much for watching. I can never say that enough. And I'll see you for the next video.